Hey guys, in this video, let me share you how to connect and what are all the new features available on the Moto Buds TWS earbuds. So this is the recent launch from the Motorola and the Buds is actually very stylish and as you look at the charging case, it is also very compact as well and it comes with the triple color variants and I am using the starlight color variant. In the outside, it is a white color variant and in the center, you can see the Moto logo and once you open it you can able to see there's a dark blue color variant and the earbuds is also dark color variant now firstly if you are connecting or for the first, very first time means once you open the charging case door it will be automatically enter the pairing mode and it is also supported with the google phosphor connection so you if you are connecting in android phone means you will get a dialog box just click on the connect and it will be instantly connected and now if you try to connect to any new device like laptop or iphone or any second android phone means so just to place both earbuds into the case and press and hold this function button for two seconds continuously now a blue light blinks on the led indicator and after that you can able to see the motor buds in the available device section in the bluetooth settings just to click on this to pair and click on allow access and click on the pair option and also it is supported with the google phosphor so if you connected in connecting in android phone means you will get a dialog box just to click on the save option and now the earbuds has been connected to the second device also and also in this moto buds there is a, some default google phosphor connection feature so once you click on this moto buds here you can able to see the audio switch and the multi point once you enabled the multi point option and after that if you pair this moto buds earbuds to the another device which is also have a same google account means then you can able to share the audio source to this moto buds and also you can able to switch over the music between these two devices so it is now supported with the Google Phosphor connection and it's currently supported on the Moto Buds earbuds. So now after connected with your smartphone, you need to install an application called Moto Buds. So this is the app name Moto Buds. Once you installed, just to open it and you no need any registration process. And the Moto Buds application not supported for iPhone users and it's the major drawback. And in this application, you can able to see both case percentage and the earbuds battery percentage. And if you are using both earbud means and whenever you want to see the case battery, place any one of the earbuds into the case. Now you can able to see the case battery percentage. And also the app is actually looking very good. And in this application, you can able to control the noise. So here is a noise control. So it has a multiple different modes and it supports up to 50 decibels of ANC. And once you click on the sound, here you need to enable the high res mode. It is supported with the high resolution audio content and also it's supported with the LHTC type of audio codec. And also in addition to that, it is also supported with the LC3 Bluetooth codec, but most of the smartphones not supported with the LC3 Bluetooth audio codec lc3 is the upgrade to the sbc type of audio codec so that is a bluetooth certified audio codec but still most of the smartphones is uh, not supported so if you are having a high res mode so if you're having this high res mode in your smartphone means and this buds is not supported with lhdc in smarts in some smartphones so in your smartphone this buds is supported with the lhdc means you can able to see the lhdc option in the bluetooth settings once go to the bluetooth here you can able to see the lhdc codec format so here click on the media audio here you can able to see the lhtc if your smartphone supported with the lhtc means then in the application enable the high res audio also and turn off the volume boost because for volume boost it actually use the lc3 bluetooth codec but lc3 bluetooth codec is not available in this smartphone and in case if your smartphone is only supported with the aac codec means then at that situation you can enable the volume boost once you enabled this option then the sound experience will be much better but by default if you have a lhtc codec means then you just turn off this option and enable the high res mode and there is a equalizer option there is a four different modes flat vocal boost bass boost and a brilliant trouble and there is a custom equalizer setting also once you click on the manual then you can customize the eq as per your wish and then here is the gaming mode and once go to the gestures option here you can able to customize the touch control so for double tap it is play pause and for triple tap previous and next song and for touch and hold on the left earbuds so you can use the voice assistant or if you want any other means you can just click so you can use or noise control also or you can click on the none option and for right same double tap for play pause and triple tap for a next song and for touch and hold uh, there is a noise control and there is a one small drawback here 
which means it has a volume control function you can set the volume control on the double tap function only so once click on this double tap here is the volume up and down but what my question is that uh, once you selected the volume up for the right for double tap action and for uh, left also if i click on volume down for a double tap action means then how you can do the play pause option and also it is supported with the any reduction maybe if you wear the earbuds the audio will play or video will play and if you take off the earbuds from your ear the audio or video will pause but the in-ear reduction will not always work out in all scenarios sometimes we manually need the play pause option so in that situation you can't able to use if you set the volume up and down function for double tap action so that is the only small constraints so if you set the play pause you can't use the volume up and down and if you set the volume up and down you can't use the play pause function and here once you click on the more option and here is the any reduction then the audio or video will play automatically if you wear or unwear the earbuds and then here is a find my earbuds feature you can ring the left and right earbuds and also here you can just hear the audio of the ring sound of this earbuds And finally here is the firmware update current version is 4039 and i checked for the updates but the version is up to date there is a no firmware update for this moto buds and mainly i really liked this app interface very clean and also looking very good so in terms of ui it's great and here you need to enable the dual connection firstly then only you can able to connect between two devices always so now these are all the some of the features and how to connect and dual connection on this uh, moto buds tws earbuds Thanks.